I'm going to take a little extra time in our, our welcome time this morning to give you a little bit of, of news, joyous news, sad news simultaneously. A faithful servant, faithful saint, and a beloved mentor has gone home this week. Uh, Tuesday, February 14th, uh, Dr. George Zemeck uh, went to be with Christ. Absent from the body, present with the Lord, better by far. Now, now most of you have not met Dr. Zemeck. All of you have been impacted by him in ways you're probably not aware. Uh, Dr. Zemeck was born in 1942. Uh, He had been on the earth for over 80 years And he has been training pastors for over 50 of those years. And just to give you a little perspective, in our church is a retired pastor, Wayman Lee. Uh, He retired from pastoral ministry, and he is training pastors on multiple continents in his retirement. But when Wayman was but a young, spry seminary student, (laughs) he had Dr. Zemeck as a professor. And uh, so we're talking 50 plus years of, of training pastors. And just to let you know the, the indelible mark this man has left, uh, when I was a seminary student, I got a hold of some old cassette tapes of Dr. Zemeck teaching 24 lectures on apologetical methodology. And it, was, it, it left a tremendous impression that was truly a paradigm shift for me in my own thinking. And uh, I I would boil it down this way. Sometimes when you think about apologetics, you hear, how do I defend the faith against the the, the atheist's arguments? Uh, What Dr. Zemeck meant by apologetical methodology is how do we believe God's word and apply it to life? It was the application of the doctrines of God's sovereign grace to evangelism, the defense of the faith, to ministry, and to the Christian life. If God is holy and big and sovereign and awesome and powerful, and if man is sinful and hopeless and helpless and spiritually dead apart from the gospel, then what's the solution? Simple, faithful proclamation of the truth of God's word. Seldom in a human being are there mixed such profoundly brilliant intellectual abilities and simple faith and profound humility. These met in Dr. Zemeck. I've never met a more humble man, nor a more brilliant man. And he spent his life investing in generations of pastors, people that are all over the world, just faithfully doing the same old things. In fact, one of our seminary students who got to take his very last class uh, last year, Jeremy Lehman, summed up Dr. Zemeck's massive theological brain and intellectual capacities and the back up the dump truck of all of the exegetical data into this simple statement. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. And and never did that simple song have so much meaning than when you've backed up the truck of everything that was in Dr. Zemeck's heart flowing out of the Word of God and all of its technical details and with his brilliant intellectual gifts boiled down to such simple truths. God's Word is reliable. So we lean on it. At any rate, I, I just couldn't help but share with you um, perhaps some of the ways, you, you, though having not known Dr. Zemeck, you've been impacted by him because of the way this church has operated in all of its history. It is profoundly indebted to his faithful ministry. And uh, for him to have gone home and to have heard the words, well done, good and faithful servant, uh, causes us at one level to envy Uh, To be absent from the body, present with the Lord is better by far. It also causes us to weep with those who weep. You can pray for his wife, Judy Zemeck, who will miss her best friend, and a church who misses a a shepherd and a mentor. Um, And yet he has walked a path that every believer can walk by faith. Simple trust in God's word. A reliance on the supernatural power of God to do that which man cannot do. And if you want a simple, easy to read version of Dr. Zemeck's thoughts, Doing God's Business God's Way. It's a tiny little book available in our bookstore. Uh, It's a great way to access the the rich treasure that was his life. So um, the baton that he passes on to another generation is too heavy for anyone to carry. 
And so we all, in some sense, uh, press on with that baton.